Hey everyone, it's Courageous and I am here with another tarot unboxing. This is the Bix Tarot. I saw this on Simon's, uh, Simon of the Hermit's Caves channel. He did an unboxing and I was sold on it immediately. I found this on Amazon. I'll link the link down below where I got it from and it was about $17.00. So this is the box I already unwrapped the box and the cards. So this is the Bix Tarot. This is a low Scarabo Scarabeo deck. Uh, it's by Pierre Luigi Balducci. 79 cards with instructions. And this is a nice little sturdy box. They're shaking because I already unwrapped them from the plastic. So this is the box and it comes with this cute little color guidebook there are 127 pages but uh, they come in different languages so there are about let's go to the English there are about 23 pages in English. Now, you can see the languages it comes in. English, Italiano, Espanol, Francais, Portuguese, and that language. Sorry if I don't know what it is. So like I said, it is color tarot, uh, a colored guidebook. There are white rabbits. Follow, follow the white rabbit, not just any rabbit, not a real rabbit, Follow a rabbit-shaped idea, a character born out of the sea and of imagination, whose guidance can lightly thread across the boundary between the material and the spiritual. Uh, there are the notes, the descriptions for the major arcana, and they all come. This was this was good because I always look for things to add to my playlist, but they all come with song suggestions. I guess it's like a little Bix Rabbit playlist. So, for example, The Fool, the song is the, Mad the By the Madness, One Step Beyond for the magician Jefferson Airplane's White Rabbit. So, they all come with these notes. Let me see for the ma minor arcana. Okay, so it only does it for the major arcana. And then I guess for each suit... It comes with a song. So for the suit of wands, uh, the Portis Head Glory Box is the the song. So I thought that was so cute. And it's for the cups. It's Holy Water by Mo Horizons, and I just I just think that's that's just nifty, you know, adding adding songs to my playlist through tarot. Uh, so how to follow the rabbit. The Bix Tarot can be used like any other tarot deck. If one is new to tarot, we suggest this easy way to use the cards. When you are ready, just draw a card. That is the rabbit you are following. In other words, the advice you are receiving. Ask yourself, how is this card, how this card is going to mirror me? If you find your answer to that question, you are halfway through. You just need to understand the card better. Looking at the image and reading the instruction and thinking about it or just trying to feel it. Every insight you gain from the card will be an insight that you can use and apply to yourself. If you don't see how that card is mirroring you, it may be because it's not yet happened. Keep you meta your metaphorical ears well straight and give attention to what happens in your day that can relate to that card. Give attention to it and make sure you use what you learn from that situ the event or situation to grow and become stronger and better. So, you know, cute little nifty um, guidebook in multiple languages. So these are the cards. So one thing that turned me off, but obviously not enough to not buy this deck, was the fact that it has the name on the back but it's not reversible. I would have loved it if they had just put it on, you know, in reverse so that it could be reversible. I do re read reversals, but it's it's not going to stop me from reading reversals. Um, but that was something that I didn't quite like when I saw the flip through. 
of the cards, but here we are, we're still here. So this is uh, the QR code uh, if you want to just scan it and you can play it directly on Spotify to the playlist with all of the songs that are in the guidebook. So that's pretty cool. Uh, in terms of the cardstock, it is actually really good. Um, really good cardstock. It's uh, glossy, but it's a small, like a small card, a small deck. But it is very, very good quality. I'm just going to get um, an example. Uh, a tarot deck. Pardon. I should have had this ready. Um, so let's just go with the Numinous Tarot, which is a standard tarot card. So this is the comparison of the Bix Tarot with the Numinous Tarot. And that's why I got it, um, because it is so many and it's always nice to have um, a mini deck for when I can't have the big ones. And I was looking for a mini deck and I was just trying to decide and I couldn't find any that I really liked. Uh, and there was one I had my eye on the way of the panda tarot but that it hasn't come out yet and i was just i thought it was serendipitous that simon did uh this video on this tarot so i went ahead and got it so this is what the guidebook was talking about following the rabbit uh from reality into the spiritual realm so we have this card here where uh, the rabbit is stepping from regular city life into this spiritual realm where we have flying fish and the sun, you know, they're like, the fish are birds and the birds are birds, <laughs> right? Uh, and fish are flying with or without wings. So we're stepping into this new, this new uh, reality through this tarot deck so i thought that was pretty nice so let's get into the flip through so another reason why i like the deck is because i was born in the year of the rabbit 1987 so i thought that was cool uh and i love how like just look at the colors so it everything is color coded like the suits are color coded so let me before i go into the actual flip through so we can see the cups are blue then we go into the pentacles which are green and then we have the wands which are this orangey red and then we have the swords which are this gorgeous bluish purple and i just think that's so appropriate because the cups we obviously water so we have these blues these bluish greens these turquoise i guess and then the pentacles are earth. So it's this green earthy vibes, right? We have the greens and the browns. And then I just, you know, obviously earth, I think of grass, right? And then fire for the wands. So we have the these red oranges. And then the swords are air. And we have like these, this Sky, this bluish purplish night sky in the background so I think that is so great so let's start the flip through so again this deck is pretty thick for a mini deck and it just feels it just feels great in my hand and this is the fool so he's he's just la 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 picking or or picking up, you know, or throwing, I think he's throwing the flowers uh, out, you know, caution to the wind along with the flowers. And then there's these little cogs here. And I'm not exactly sure what that's about, but it's like the way I interpret it is like, again, stepping out of 
the reality of life, right? Into, you know, the machine of the everyday world and going into the spiritual, you know, world where it's just like, I'm, I'm just, I'm just over the machine being another cog in the machine. Um, we have the magician, the rabbit coming out of the hat. Isn't it so adorable? The rabbit coming out of the hat, like I'm the trick, <laughs> but also still in control, right? As above, so below. So I just thought that was so cute and funny. The high priestess, the high priestess to me here looks kind of like a hierophant, <laughs> but maybe because I'm assigning a masculine gender to a rabbit, right? A gender neutral rabbit. So shame on me. But we do have this pomegranate in the back that I just think it's gorgeous. Um, I don't see the moon. Is there a moon? Usually we have the moon with the high priestess, but I don't see that here. Uh, and the book is too small for me to read the lettering. But so we have the Empress. This to me looks like the perfect Empress. Adorbs. Adorbs. The Emperor. So all of these feel very regal. The high priestess are all wearing like head adornments. And it's that head adornment that makes me think of like the, um, the Hierophant, but we'll see what the Hierophant looks like. So the Emperor, this is, this is a typical Emperor, the Hierophant, see, so the, which I guess it's supposed to be matching, but I would think that the female crown would look different from the male. That's why I thought, I thought Hierophant um when i saw when i saw the 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 hair font and the high priestess so very similar but i guess this is the the hair it's supposed to be the distinguishing factor so that's the hair font the lovers i just think this is such a playful card i feel like this deck i don't know if it's looks like it's dirty but I don't know maybe that's just something with the printing or maybe that yeah yeah so it's a little bit dirty but I'm not sure if that's on like every deck that might just be the printer uh so they have wings so um on each other it looks like this one is the rabbit with the wings and and it's just like i'll hold you like they're they're going you know skydiving together it's like one with the one holding the other so i think that's cute uh usually you have the angel uh, above but this one is the angel so i like that the lovers is my birth card so i always look to see how they look in the deck the chariot very nice except you know how are they moving <laughs> but nice chariot strength it looks like the rabbit's touching a mural of a ferocious lion in the back but i think it's so cute this the deck is just so adorable it's just so cute the hermit card i always love hermit cards uh i always look like i if i'm not drawn to the hermit card maybe because i'm just like such a <laughs> I'm just such a curmudgeon. I just want to be isolated. I love spending time with myself and being by myself. And I can really relate to the quest for knowledge that the hermit has and also the quest for isolation. That is, that's me. That's my life. And this, this one is definitely like on a quest for knowledge, right? We see there's, there's like this active movement, uh, and I just, I really like this Hermit card. And that's why, one part of the reason why I really wanted to buy the deck. The Wheel of Fortune. The Yin and the Yang. I like that. Here is the Justice card. And I love the fact that this bunny is on a unicycle. And I, I, they're in, the bunny's like in this old building like you can see like the like, what are they buttresses or something like of those old 
chapel type buildings um so it's just like something old but then something out of place right like this is old and stiff and then it's like we have this kind of silly playful unicycle uh holding these scales it's interesting the hanged man typical you know like it death card skull and bones i got my pirate bunny <laughs> Temperance. I love how this cup looks. It looks almost like it's 3D. And here, as opposed to like a traditional temperance card where one foot is on land and one foot is in the water, both feet are in the water. The devil card. I love this devil card. Uh, the devil card is my shadow card, my shadow birth card. And I love devil cards where it depicts the devil within us as you know a shadow where it's our vices are internal it's not an external temptation like we we are our own devils uh, as opposed to assigning blame to you know satan lucifer baphomet whatever you want to call them right or to anyone else this is a card of accountability to me where i'm responsible for my own my own vices and my own giving into temptation so i really like devil card even though they still have kind of the typical devil there at least the rabbit's looking in the mirror and it's like that's the reflection that that the rabbit's seeing so it is internal the tower this is hilarious <laughs> it's just hilarious like i'm falling apart i'm falling to pieces in this tower moment which is which is true the star card I think it's so cute. The moon. The sun. They're just lounging there. Soaking up the sun. Judgment. So we have this distant silhouette of a figure coming to, to judge us. The world. I don't really understand this world card, but I will meditate on it and, and try to gain some understanding. Uh, but I do think it's a beautiful world card. Now we're going into the cups, which again are blue on the color scale. The Ace of Cups, balancing the cup on, their, on the bunny's ears. The Two of Cups. Again, these cups just look, they just look 3D. The Three of Cups, very typical Three of Cups. The Four of Cups, very traditional. The Five of Cups. The Six of Cups. It's beautiful. The Seven of Cups, like that. Ta-da, look at all these options, I cannot decide. <laughs> The Eight of Cups, yes. The Nine of Cups, the Nine of Cups is my favorite card of like the minor arcana. Uh, I, I just love everything that it represents to me. And this is, <laughs> this card, I feel like it's a little cheeky because it's just like, I'm lounging, I have everything I want, but it's like, that one's like a little off balance. So it's just like, yeah, but it could all go to the shits like really quickly <laughs> uh, because that one is like a little off kilter. So the Ten of Cups, the Page of Cups, <laughs> fish is putting up a fight, the Knight of Cups. I just love like some of these images just look so I don't know what the word is, but it's like it's just like three-dimensional. The Queen of Cups. <laughs> this, is so, this card is so cute. <laughs> She's taking a bubble bath, and it's like, oh, it's like someone just walked in on her on the shower. <laughs> the King of Cups. 
You little clumsy little king spilling their happy juice on themselves. <laughs> the Ace of Pentacles. I like that. The Two of Pentacles. See, these, the, the thing is, you have to like really notice the detail. Like, look, they're balancing all of this. In the meantime, in the background, there's like a storm, shipwrecking happening. There's just like a lot going on that like you can like really focus. There's like a town in the background, but these ships are going through it. And there's two ships, two pentacles. It's just like this balancing act. And this is like heads and tails. The Three of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. It's like these bunnies are everywhere. They're like, they're just tra traveling the world, aren't they? Five of Pentacles. They're like begging, pan, pan, panhandling, that's the name. Six of Pentacles, la 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 la. I'm just handing out cash. Let me see what's in the background there. So the others, I feel like the in the background there's it, it's it's not as modern a city as we see the bunny leaving. These are skyscrapers. These are like old school, like classical buildings in the back the seven of pentacles eight of pentacles the nine of pentacles the ten of pentacles hmm. very interesting page of pentacles so the page is wearing the same hat as the page of cups right. so yeah so they're wearing they're wearing the same hat just different different feathers do we shuffle these anyways should the board just The Knight of Pentacles, looking backward while the horse is going forward. This is not the typical Knight of Pentacles I'm used to. I'm used to them being kind of slow. This one, this Knight feels like they're running away, right? The, the horse is actually in action, where we, as in the traditional uh, tarot, we see the Knight is of Pentacles is the slowest, the slowest Knight, uh, and this one's actually like this one looks like. Like he stole that coin and he they're fast on his tail and the, the horse is just running away and they're like are they are they getting me are they close to me the queen of pentacles she sees the queens here always look like they're caught in the act of something she's like oh you've caught me <laughs> see these pentacles look like they're stealing or or they're just like doing inappropriate things with money <laughs> Look at this one. It's like, oh, I'm just counting how much money I have. The Ace of Wands. It's a big old wand. The Two of Wands. Very typical. It's like, and then we have the Earth, but then we have map, a map in the background. I like that. The Three of Wands. So again, we have like these old ships in the background. So this this is not taking place in like current modern times. The four of wands, the five of wands. It's like me fighting with all my all my personalities. <laughs> the six of wands, very traditional. The seven of wands, yep. the eight of wands. Nine of Wands, very traditional right away, Smith. The Ten of Wands. Oh, so we have a page with a different hat and different feathers. Like it's the same hat, but these are different colors. The other two pages have the same colors, the same color hat, but it's just different color feathers. So now we've changed color hats. 
the Knight of Wands. So this one, to me, the Knight of Wands is the, is the fastest, then the Swords, then the Cups, then the Pentacles. And this one seems to me slower than the Knight of Pentacles because the Knight of Pentacles seemed like he was in action. This one is just like, I'm about to set off. So that's different for me. The Queen of Wands. Now she is pole dancing. I love this. I love this. She's pole dancing in her boudoir. Get it on. Get it on, Queen. Then we have the King of Wands. Admiring his crown, I guess, on a pole. The Ace of Swords. The Two of Swords, very traditional. Three of Swords. <laughs> like, oh Lord, oh no. <laughs> They're like shocked. That that adds that adds cuteness and doesn't make this as as depressing as it can be sometimes. The Four of Swords, I love it. I just think of like the magician, right? Where they put in all of the swords and they're just supposed to be in one intact in the in the trick. That's the five of swords. There's like a tempest going on on the sea behind it. The six of swords. Yeah. The seven of swords. Very traditional, typical. The eight of swords. Yep. The Nine of Swords. The Ten of Swords. So the typical cards that really, that people hate to see because of, of, of how gory they, they appear. The Three of Swords and the Ten of Swords. So this kind of alleviates the, you know, the gore uh, and, and won't make people panic when they see it. So that's, that's nice. The Page of Swords, different hat again. So we have two pages with the same sword, with the same hats, same color hats. Three with the same style hats, and then this one has doesn't have the stripe pattern. And I love the feathers. The Knight of Swords. So yeah, so this one is in. This one's moving along, ready to charge. Very aware. The Queen of Swords. What are you doing with that? What are you doing with that? <laughs> and then the King of Swords. All right, so that was my walkthrough of the Bix Tarot. I hope you enjoyed. You have this. What do you think of it? Let me know in the comments and I will see you in my next video. This is Courageous. Peace.